everyone welcome back to my channel I wanted to provide a weekly update on my plenity journey um, and let those folks know how things are going um, how I'm feeling and if I've lost any weight so um, let's get to it I'm actually coming home from the gym right now so I wanted to provide you a an update before I went inside the house and the kids started driving me crazy um, so I hope everyone's week has been going well um, I have had a great week um, I've been really active this week um, I pushed myself more than I've pushed myself in a really long time and it felt amazing um, so let's start with my weekly weigh-in I'm gonna go ahead and insert an image on the top um, and you can see that I'm starting to cut just a little bit so I, I'm a pound down from last week and that is fantastic um, I um, kind of feel it feels good but here's the thing and this is the reality um i actually want to insert an image to kind of give you an idea of what my weight loss journey has been like since 2014. um i had a therapy session this week and i talked to my therapist about how frustrating it is that um when i started this weight loss journey and i've always been on it but you can see that in 2014 i started at a, a you know sort of a lower weight and it's been slowly like going up and down and up and down and so even though I lost a pound it, it still bugs me because I shouldn't have started at 140 or 141 I should be down at like 130 trying to lose the weight but we are where we are I'm happy with the one pound I've been pushing myself and just really trying to be um, stringent with the food that I'm eating um, so that's where I am right now um, I am seeing a therapist regularly. I see a therapist every other week. And we have talked about weight and we've talked about kind of where I've been. I've been with her through keto and I've been with her through um, not being on anything. And, and it's it's a lifestyle change. And I feel like that's the biggest um the biggest emotional state that I'm in right now. Just wrapping my head around the fact that this is going to be your life and my lifestyle style change forever. So for me, what I'm trying to understand this time is what am I doing it for? Like what are the reasons I want to lose weight um, right now? Um, and I mean, there's the obvious, I wanna fit into some clothes that I've had in my closet forever. Um, and you know, I want to look a certain way, um, but I'm just tired of being tired. I mean, I'm tired of waking up and still being tired after eight hours of sleep. I'm tired of getting to the top of our three story townhouse and being tired. Um, I am tired of feeling this way. I'm tired of my knees hurting because I have an excess 40 pounds of weight on them. Um, so I'm, t I'm just tired of being tired. And I am in a position right now where I have the luxury of being able to go to the gym um, because I'm working from home. Um, my company is amazing and I have been working from home since the beginning of quarantine. However, my son started in-person school on Monday. Hallelujah. Um, it was a fantastic week. He went in person on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. And that was a big um, burden on my, both myself and my husband and for my 11 year old daughter because we would have all out fight, fighting matches every day about him doing his work. Um, I teach teachers, but I am not a, a K through 12 teacher. And it, it, it was a struggle, it was a challenge and I think it emotionally affected me. And, um, but now he's back at school and so I really don't even have an excuse. So what I decided to do is block off time on my work calendar and work out every day. And so I've been going to the gym almost every day for the past two weeks. And like I said in my last video, I've incorporated weightlifting. And so I'm lifting twice a week now. I think I'm going to up that to three times a week because I do feel like when I lift, I... Um, I'm getting a little bit more out of it. I'm wearing my sweat belt to the gym. I'm sweating a lot more. Um, and I'm just feeling a lot more energized. So, um, you know, even though this the the chart that you saw is kind of an up and down up and down i'm i think at a really good point where i 
am doing this because I want to see a health improvement. Um, when COVID happened and I heard about, you know, obesity, obesity being a, a major factor in folks getting really, really seriously ill with COVID, it scared me and it scared the heck out of me thinking that that might be me. Um, so I think that that was a major aha moment as well. Um, so in terms of my workouts, I, I'm actually going to show you all, um, I've been using Fitbit to track my steps and I'm just going to show you all what this week looked like in terms of my, um, my, uh, minutes of activity. So it keeps a track of how often I am active and you can see that I was active just about every day this week. Um, like I said, two days were, um, weightlifting, um, but the rest were cardio. Like I went to the gym and I did stair climber and I ran outside and I just tried to switch it up and I've been trying to switch it up as much as possible, but I've really been trying to dedicate myself to going to the gym, using the, the opportunity to not have my son at home. Um, my daughter, is in fifth grade and she's really self-sufficient so um, she's been okay kind of doing things on her own so I've been really trying to use this time and um, the benefit of being at home to focus on myself and to go out to the gym and spend an hour and a half there and not have to worry about getting in and out um, Another thing that's been really great and really motivational as I do kind of go to the gym and I've, as I've been, I've been watching this series. I don't know if, uh, as anyone, uh, comment below if you've seen this. It's been so motivational. It's called Fit to Fat to Fit. Um, and it's essentially a series about uh, personal trainers who gain the weight and then lose it with their um with their clients and I've just been watching it just out of motivation to sh to see how like in sh four months you can go from fit to fat and then lose it again four months later and it's just been such a motivator so I've been actually doing my lifting sessions and I've been watching those sessions as I lift and it's been really just like raw um, excitement and I've, I've been energized by watching folks go through this um, so plenity. So let's let's talk about plenity and let's talk about how I've been feeling with plenity. I think one of the comments that I got a couple of weeks ago was it doesn't work. And I think it's really um it's subtle. But what I, I've been noticing more this week, um my the, the how my stomach feels. And I know that that sounds really odd, but let me let me try try and explain it. So I'll give you a great example. So a couple of nights ago, I made quesadillas. Um, and I made the kids regular quesadillas. I did a, used a whole wheat, a, um, a whole wheat car, low carb um, quesadilla shell, and I only did half of it. So I folded it in half. Chicken, black beans, red peppers, um, cheddar cheese, um, and sour cream on the side. And I took the um, plenity 45 minutes before I ate. And then... When I sat down to eat, I drank water first. I've been trying to like be very cognizant about drinking water and I started eating. And then what I noticed is that my stomach started to feel slightly distended, slightly fuller. I enjoyed the taste of the quesadilla and I wanted to keep on eating it. But I noticed that my stomach was saying I'm getting full. And it, it, again, it's, it's slight, it's not dramatic. And I could have kept on eating it. I could have kept on eating the quesadilla. I had very um, few calories that day because I'm intermittent fasting. I don't break my fast until 12 o'clock. So I don't eat breakfast. I just have coffee and I could have kept on eating. I had the additional calories to spare, quote unquote, but I stopped. And I think it, that is what the biggest, um, uh, improvement I, I would say since I've started taking plenity is the mindfulness and the mindful fullness that you get from having that in your stomach it's not dramatic and another thing that you have to be really aware of is if you're snacking a lot you're not going to have any effectiveness and you, the um the medication won't be as efficacious because you're not filling your stomach with plenty before you snack. And so of course you're going to keep on eating because there's nothing in your stomach to fill that, that kind of void. But when you're eating lunch and dinner in which you do take the plenity, you can absolutely be mindful about what you're putting in your mouth and you can feel the difference. And so that's the biggest thing what I've been trying to notice. I've been trying to notice the moment I start to put food in my mouth, 
and just think about whether or not I'm eating it because it tastes wonderful or I should stop because I'm actually getting full. So um, I am, am thrilled by, you know, by it. Um, do I wish I could take it all day and have it before anything I put in my mouth? Absolutely. But I'm thrilled at how I feel right now. I'm thrilled at um, kind of just the being able to be mindful about the food that I'm putting in my mouth. Um, I'm really proud that I've been working out so consistently and the scale is starting to slightly reflect that. Um, I'm also seeing a slight difference in my inches. Um, I will insert um, kind of the, um, I measured myself, um, I measured my um, arms, my neck, my waist, my hips, and my thigh. Um, and so I'll, um, I'll insert the measurements over the last couple of months so you can kind of see it's like gone up and down, but I am happy with um, where I am inches wise. Um, so like I said, we're three weeks in. I have missed a couple of doses of plenity. If I do, I've, I'm, what I'm noticing is that I really need to be, um, uh, I need to remind myself to take it. Like right now it's seven o'clock. Um, I just got dinner for our family um, and I'm going to take it now and I'm going to eat in 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to delay eating just so that I have the chance for it to be in my stomach. So I just have to be mindful of taking it and I think it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and me working out and me being um, aware of the calories that I'm putting into my body, I think are absolutely helping. Um, so... I'm so excited um, for, for you all that are watching these videos. Please continue to watch them as I put them out. Um, what I do want to do, hopefully in the next video, is I want to show you um, what the plenity looks like in water. So you can kind of get an idea of how it dissolves in your stomach. It's actually really cool. So I'll try to do that next week. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, please subscribe to my channel so you can continue to get notifications. And let's go on this journey together. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone.